Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23430. Today, Microsoft released builds for the Canary, the dev, and also the beta channel, so videos about those coming really soon. But in this video, we're talking about the dev channel because we have quite a few interesting options. Even though the build is a smaller build, we have a few interesting options that need to be noted. So if you want to learn what has changed and also what is fixed in this build, make sure to watch the video until until the end. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by KeysOff.com. If you're looking for a place to get Windows 10, Windows 11 or Office licenses at a very good price, you can check the KeysOff sale. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $7 by using the coupon code TB50 and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11 by using the coupon code TB50. 50, you can also get Windows 11 for just $13. Office licenses have an even better discount with 62% off by using the coupon code TB62. Check out the great prices from keysoff.com in the links from the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon codes. First of all, Microsoft is making a general change regarding urgent or important notifications that break through when do not disturb is turned on while using apps at full screen will now display a view notification button to view the content of the notification for privacy. This is an interesting change. In the previous slide, Microsoft documented that content adaptive brightness control works on desktop PCs. However, it does not. They updated the info that we know about this and basically they're saying that content adaptive brightness also needs to be enabled by the OEM, the manufacturer of the device. As a result, this feature is not available on all laptops or two-in-one devices. Regarding settings, a limit of 20 most recent tabs has been introduced under settings multitasking to show tabs in all plus tab and snap assist. Also another interesting addition is inside privacy and security and then for developers and you'll notice here a new option and task enable and task and taskbar by right click and if you turn it on when you right click on a app from the taskbar you will be able to end that task right from the taskbar we've had this before i showed you how to enable that but currently it does not work in this build so microsoft says it will be fixed in a future flight and that means that if you turn it on it will not work but it's very nice. I think this is a very, very nice addition because you can really easily end a task without having to go into the task manager. You can just right click on the app that you want to end the task. Another interesting addition is inside time and language and then date and time. We have here a new option, hide time and date in the system tray. Turn this on to hide your time and date information in the corner of your task bar. If you turn it on, as you can see here, we don't have any date and time in the system tray. I think this is pretty interesting. And if you turn it off, that will show again right away. This is an interesting feature. Maybe some of you want Want to hide that so i think this is also a nice addition to this build regarding changes and improvements this is all there is to it in this build but we also have a few fixes so for example some general fixes they fix an underlying issue causing some insiders to see an increase in explorer.exe crashes in the last flight regarding input they fix an issue where text input features like touch keyboard voice typing and emoji panel might not launch they fix an issue where the buttons in the pinion ime settings file were hard to see when they had focus if a contrast theme was enabled regarding the task manager they fix an issue impacting task manager reliability and also the search box should no longer be cropped at the top and the window is maximized. And regarding accessibility, fix an issue where in quick settings, narrator was reading out the previous page title instead of the active pages. After downloading voice access information to help you get started with it, to correctly open again now. And they also fixed an issue where pop-ups for voice access weren't translated correctly. So this is all there is to it in this build as far as we know. I think this is a pretty interesting one and regarding the no date and time in the system tray feature it is not officially announced by Microsoft and is not enabled by default. If you want me to make a different video in which I show you how to enable that, I can do that in the next few days. So just let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.